Okay, now what is it called when a giraffe swallows a toy jet? This is also slope review. But this slope review is a little different because we're far more comfortable with y equals mx plus b. Am I correct? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, but sometimes we got to change it around. Like number five. This is slope, is our topic. And so, like on number five, we have negative x plus 3y equals negative 12. I'm going to go ahead and move this because we don't have to graph that one, which is actually kind of relieving. Okay. But we know plus 3y equals negative 12. Okay? Can we graph Could we graph that if we wanted to? Not easily, could we? What what format do we want it in? Y equals mx plus b. So we want we want y equals mx plus b. Who's hanging with three y over here? Negative x, right? Can we move negative x over here? How can we do that? Let's add x to both sides, can't we? Can we do that? If it's yes. an equation, you can add the same thing to both sides, can't you? Yes. Now, negative x and x is 0x, so we can ignore that now. 3y equals x minus 12. So far, so good? Yes. Are we ready? Do we have x, uh, y equals mx plus b? Uh oh. How many y's do we have? How many are we supposed to have? One. One. So what do we have to do? Okay, so here we have a problem. Too many y's. So what do we do? If we divide one term by three, what do you think we have to do? Divide them all by three. And um, I heard Selassie say divide the other side by three. It's easier to divide each term by three, not just the other side. See how, how much easier it is to see it this way? Divide each term by three. Okay, so now we have three over three y, which is the same as one y. Yay, our goal. X over three is the same as one over three x, isn't it? Is that easier to see? Yeah. Because we know slope is easy and fun, it's just rise over run. Minus, how many threes in 12? Four. Four. <laughs> Yay, we did it. Yes, we did. That's it. We did it. That's our goal. And sure enough, if you look back at the, at the assignment, can we find one-third x minus four? Y equals one-third x minus four? Sure enough, it's letter N, and we can verify our work that way. Let's go down to number 10. We have the same kind of ugly problem. Okay. So first, if they give us 2x plus y equals 1, is it something that we can easily do? Not yet. We can't graph that. And this time we have to put it on a graph. 2x plus y equals 1. Okay, we do have a 1y this time, but is it by itself on one side of the equation? No, it's hanging with that nasty 2x. So what do we have to do? We have to move it. And how do we move something from one side of the equation to the other? Add its opposite. So we're going to add negative 2x to each side. So 2x and negative 2x equals 0x. So y equals negative 2x plus 1. We have the slope intercept form now, right? Yeah. So what's our intercept? 1. And our slope is? 2 over 0. Negative 2 over 1. 
So our rise would be negative 2 and our run would be 1. So we start at positive 1, because that's our slope, and we go down 2 and to the right 1. Negative 2 over positive 1. Or we can go positive 2 over negative 1. And we draw our line from end to end and we get the letter N. We're going to do the same thing on number 14, which also has an example for you. Questions?